Hello, gorgeous tribe. I'm so seriously late tonight. Trust me. It's the way it is. Get straight into it. Tonight, I'm going to be reading from Kyle Gray. He is just an abs absolutely amazing, um, does amazing cards. Absolutely amazing. He's got quite a few angel decks out now. Um, this is one of my favourite angels and ancestors. So let's get straight into it. The first card I drew for us this afternoon, and I'm only getting to read tonight, is Druid. Now, Druid is our hold the space. If you can see. Now look how connected he is to the earth. You need to hold your own space. So hold things together. Don't make any sudden moves or changes. Stand strong knowing you are where you are supposed to be. The Druids were the ancient wise ones of the British Isles. They had a deep connection with the earth and the sun and the moon. They were the scholars and yet yeah, they were the scholars who created the Ogham tree language and they were known for their creative skills in storytelling, poetry and craftsmanship. So when the Druid card appears it is a reading. You're being guided to dig deep within and hold your station. If you are wondering what do you do next and have a sense of anxiety about what is unfolding in your life it is time to shift your perception to more back into the state of trust don't change your plans or do anything drastic just trust in the process and let everything happen happen as it needs to before taking any more steps think of a tree it has strong roots yet continues to grow and bear fruit. Your life will be a reflection of this. So just remember, we don't need to make any drastic changes at the moment. Just be patient with yourself. Stand your ground. Again, stand your ground. Find your own inner space. Hello, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, how you doing? So, Jemila, 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 sorry darling, how are you gorgeous girl? So yes, we are to hold our space at the moment, okay? Now the second card I drew for us tonight is Shapeshifter. Transform and unveil your gifts. You can see how she's surrounded by all the beautiful animals. We're back into our nature again. Dig deep within your nature spirit, guys. See how we have both feminine and male sides here. And we also have our animalistic side of us as well. Take your time and focus on developing your gifts and strengths. In shamanic traditions, a shapeshifter is either an animal that has the capacity to change between species or a shaman who has the capacity to transform into an animal to go journeying. If there is a wild animal you are particularly drawn to or fascinated by, it's probably because you can transform into one or meditation or journey practice to go exploring into the other worlds. When you shift into animal form, you can see the world through different eyes. And that's what that is. The different eyes. And tap into the animal survival skills to help yourself through a particular situation. So, you may have been through many challenges and lows. But now you are in a space of transformation. There's so many people transforming at the moment. It's amazing to see. You are moving beyond your past challenges and honouring your current strengths. 
there is opportunities for you to discover and rediscover the gifts and talents that you were born with and born to share. And that is so coming true with me at the moment as I've just found my I Ching again. All of your past experiences have only helped you see how strong you really are. You are an amazing soul who can change and transform in ways that people least expect. You have many talents that you will share in your lifetime. And you are guided to stay focused on the light, knowing that it will guide you forward. When this card arrives, there is also an opportunity for you to tap into the power of your animal spirit. Note, if you are seeing a particular animal regularly, because it's medicine, it's coming to you. So yes, guys, even in your dreams, um, if you're seeing different animals or the same particular animal at the moment, that's the, the animal you're supposed to be shifting into. So you can also go and do little journeying. Shamanic work is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I've been doing a lot of study of it lately um, in the last year, basically, but it is fantastic. And it's all about the heart. It's all about connection with the earth and, and spirit and with everything. So transform and unveil your gifts. That is a beautiful card. There are so many people awakening at the moment. It is a time of awakening. So the more that we awaken, the more we help and heal others as well. And the last card, very appropriate, is Earth Mother. And feel loved and comforted. As you can see, she is holding the world in her belly, in her womb. And connected to the moon up the top. And you can see the moon there, the crescent moon. Again, we are all connected, all energy, all united. In so many different ways, in different strengths, in different loves, in different light. Allow yourself to be cherished. Earth Mother is protecting you with a shield of love and light. Earth Mother is a female counterpart to Sky Father. It's auspicious to receive this card because in the eyes and heart of Earth Mother, you and her child, you are her child, I should say, and she is highly protective of her baby and will give you everything you need to grow and expand. Earth Mother is only covered by leaves in this card, showing the vulnerability of the earth. Every day she experiences challenges that she has to adapt to and overcome. Her energy is represented by the symbol of the pagan triple goddess, maiden, mother and crone. Behind her can help you adapt as the changes of life come your way. As again, you can see those symbols up in the corner. You may have felt overwhelmed or out of control emotionally recently, but you are now moving back to your natural center and that will bring you to a place of clarity and openness. If you have felt ungrounded, know that Earth Mother is here to root you and help you regain your sense of strength. You may not feel like a child, but in the eyes of the divine, you are a child of light. And it's important you know that and you feel that love. If you have challenges with your mother or with being a mother yourself, know that the energies of mother healing are with you to help you clear any ancestral blockages that are preventing you from making your sacred love connection. You are being guided to make choices that are based on on love and just completely from the heart guys as always from the heart and don't forget to nurture mother earth back as she nurtures us and she gives us so much every day
connect with that. So what a beautiful reading today, guys. We had our hold our space with our druid. And again, connecting with the earth, rooting down into the earth, into our home. We had Shapeshifter with transforming and unveiling your gifts. With both sights, our inner sight and our outer sight. And again, that connection to spirit, to all animals, to just to everything. We are all energy. We keep going through this. And our last beautiful card was, of course, Earth Mother. Not only does she nurture and love us, she provides us with so much. Our water, our air, our earth, our home, our fire. We need to give a little bit of love back to her too. Okay, so again, gorgeous reading today. I'm so sorry that I was super late today. I'll try and get a morning reading next Wednesday. And on Sunday, I might try and do a morning reading on Sunday instead of an afternoon reading, something a little bit different. So tomorrow, tomorrow is Get It Out Thursdays. With our new um, themes for the days of the week. And we've had, what have we had? We've had Kindness Mondays, we've had Creative Tuesdays. <coughs> Pardon me. And today was Inspirational Wednesdays. So I hope you've inspired as many people as you can today, even if it's just yourself. Tomorrow with Get It Out Thursdays, please, please, please get what you need off your chest. It is so important that you be able to talk and connect. And even if you don't want to do it as part of the group, please send me a little DM and we can just have a little chat anyway. But get... If you can, I really want you to try and put um, whatever you can on our group page and just get it off your chest. Whatever it is you're holding on to, get it out. The only way that we heal ourselves is by healing ourselves. And we can't do that if we won't let ourselves get past what we're holding on to. So have an amazing night, sweet dreams. I will see you sometime tomorrow.